Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here. Welcome back to another Cardano video. And in this one, we're going to take a look at Iagon and how you can set up a node for the network, stake your IAG and earn staking rewards. This is part of the videos that I'll be doing for Iagon as I have joined their ambassador program. There'll be lots more like this coming. Let me know if you have questions, requests, and as usual on the channel, lots of Cardano focused content. So subscribe if you're interested. Let's jump into it. Okay, so there's a lot going on with Iagon. They have opened up the storage part, the decentralized storage part of their protocol. The compute part is going to be coming in Q1. This one's going to look at how you can become a provider and stake your IAG. So this is the back end. We will come back to this in a minute. First off, the minimum requirements. When it started, the storage requirement was one terabyte was the minimum you could provide, but that has changed to 900 gigabytes now because people had a one terabyte hard drive. And with that, then generally you don't get the full one terabyte. There's a few different files there for software, whatever else. So you get a little bit less and people who just had one terabyte drives weren't able to get started. So that has been reduced to 900 gigabytes. So everybody should be able to get started with a one terabyte drive right now. So there's different requirements on the upload, download speed, the read write. So that is how good the actual hard drive is as well as your own connection because people will be taking parts of files up and down as the network starts to get used more. Lots of different calculations when you start to look through this. I will leave links to all of this type of stuff down below. The rewards that you get will depend on the quality of the node that you provide, how much, how, how long it's online and how fast and different things that it is. Reward distribution and staking guidelines. So there are 100 million IAG tokens up for rewards for the first 15 years. So in year one, there's 8.8 .8 million. Now, if there was 100 million IAG staked with the network, the rewards that you would get would be roughly eight to 17%. Now that's, there's no set exact amount because it will be different for different people depending on how much you're providing and then the quality of the node. But right now, if you look at it, then where is it here? Not that one, this one. You can see right now there is only 3.7 million IAG staked. So anybody getting in and providing storage to the network early, then you're going to be getting a lot higher rate, probably 20 plus, maybe even up towards 30% for the start. As more people come in, then them rewards start to go down. But I will leave links to all of this down below if people want to look at it and look more at the actual calculations. So for providing storage for every one gigabyte of storage that you provide, then you can stake 50 cent worth of IAG tokens. Now, right now, if you were stake or if you were providing one terabyte of storage, then you could stake roughly $500 worth of IAG tokens. In the future, you'll be able to change this and to modify, provide more, provide less and the amount of tokens that you stake. But I'll be doing future videos on that too. So how can you get access to the actual software? You can see this is the version I was waiting for to come out. New version is just out now, v1.0.2. And right here we have the different downloads. So you have your Windows downloads, you have Linux, Mac, and this is another one that I will leave a link to. We're gonna do the Windows download here and installation. Linux, I'm presuming most people who are familiar with Linux will be able to just follow the documentation yourselves. But if you want a tutorial, make sure and let me know. Mac, I'm not a Mac user, but it's gonna be fairly similar to what we go through with Windows. And then there is the post steps, which we'll go through in the video. So once you download whichever exe or the zip file, whichever way you want to do it, download that and then install it onto your system. So I've already installed the node software. Okay, so I already have it downloaded. So I'm just gonna click the installation file here and it's come up on my other screen and click on yes. And you'll see that we get here. Where do you want to install it? You can install it anywhere you want on your system. Click install. And actually it didn't give it to me there because I have installed this previously, but sometimes you will get a Windows Defender message and that is because the publisher isn't signed yet. I'm sure in time that's something that is going to come, but you can read it yourself and understand what it means. Basically, it's not fully set up as an official provider of the software just yet. Run IAG software, click on finish. And then what it brings up is this here. So this is how easy it is to install it. So it picks a random port. 
Depending on your network, you might need to open the port. If we go down to storage then, so gigabyte or terabyte, we will provide the 900 here, 900 gigabytes. The path then, so select where on your system. So wherever you want the files through the Igon storage network, where do you want them to be stored? So I would say set up one folder, whether it's on a hard drive or on your main system, set up one folder and use that as the top level folder of where things are going to be stored. So if I click on select, and then what I want to do is, you can see here, actually I have this PC, I have a network drive set up on my system and I have a folder created for node. So it's already went into it and I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna click select folder. And then you can see here Z as I've mapped that drive. Then we click on evaluate. And this can take a minute or two, so I might pause the video and come back when that's finished. Okay, so you can see here the evaluation finished and this just popped up. We've successfully registered your device. Now, down here you have your authorization key. I am blurring this out because if I didn't, people could copy that and then stake their own IAG with me providing the storage. So I've copied, click on copy, and then I'm going to click on continue. And then you get into the dashboard here. So you can see it shows what system you have, the read write speed, the allocation that you have out of the total capacity. And this, this is demo data up here for the staking storage available. So as I've just set it up, there's the 900 gigs I have provided. Right now, there is none of that in use by the network. So what we want to do then is we'll go back to the IAG site. So I've already connected my wallet in here to app.igon.com. When you come in first, you might come into the ledger part, but what you need to do is just go over to provider. You get the dashboard, you can see under this account, I have no nodes up there yet. I have the button down in the bottom right to add a node, or I can click add node here. What I need to do is I'm gonna put this in as video node, so I know what it is put in my authorization key that I copied. I just got that from setting up. I'm going to say scan node. You can see that it has picked it up as a Microsoft Windows 10 home, the capacity of that actual drive and the committed storage is here and then calculated price. So this is saying that I should be able to stake 2,835 IAG tokens. So let's go play stake and then it's bringing up a pop-up up here. You can see that it's asking, I'm going to be sending 2,835 IAG tokens and I'm going to sign this transaction. Click on sign, place stake. So we just have to wait a minute for that to hit the chain. Okay, so you can see, yeah, it's successfully completed transaction. So you can see now I have my node is all set up. So you can see nodes by performance, video node is the one we just set up. The reputation right now is 10 and the status is running. Hopefully this helps in how easy it is to actually set up a node, provide storage to the network, start earning staking rewards on your IAG. Any questions, let me know down below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.